So, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, I really want to, to make this video and bring you some, some issues that I want us to really, I want to discuss and I uh, want anybody who is interested in it, can, you can leave your comment. Um, I'll put this, this video on, on, on this channel, OZ Lifestyle since she talks about also about relationship issues and uh, I decided to use the opportunity to talk about some relationship that I felt I, I, I felt uncomfortable somehow. I've been a supporter of this relationship for for quite some for quite some time. It's it's from, it's about a couple in, in YouTube and some of you may know this couple in YouTube. If you if you check the title of my of this uh, video, you will understand what I'm talking about. Why why I'm titling it uh, Wadamaya, do the right thing. Uh, as you all, Wadamaya is somebody I, I I watch I watch his videos about African to the world. That I'm impressed about their work. I watch Miss Trudy's uh, uh, films also. I am impressed with what they are doing. A lot of their videos I watch. Uh, what am I? I want to first of all come to you. I've been watching your videos for a long time. For a long time. You see, we are all Africans. And um, Africans has moral. We have tradition, and we have culture. These things are part of; they are part of African to the world that the world need to know. It is not just nice resorts. It is not just nice estates people are building. It is not just people succeeding in business. That is not the only African to the world. African to the world also includes our lifestyle, our culture, our tradition, our morals. You see, we, can, we cannot make something that is abnormal, normal. All over the world, it is the same standard. And Africans will shoot not be an exception. And I know a lot of us are beginning to realize it. I've followed your relationship with uh, with Miss Trudy. The first time you you people made an interview how I, I uh, how we met. You gave an interview with uh, this girl Maslin, African uh, African tigress. You've given an interview, you've gone to Jalas. I'm saying all this is just to give you a hint that this guy knows knows you, knows your videos, knows what you've given an interview with her with a Jalas Jal, a Jal, Jalas Jalingo or the what also these are Kenyans. You've given several interviews. If you also given interviews even in even in Ghana, in some distance, and you've confirmed your relationship. Well, that is fine. Kenyans are not against your relationship. Kenyans are not against your relationship. Because sometimes they, uh, they, they interview you, the next thing you say, uh, they should leave your girl alone, and you don't know what they have about West Africans. Uh, Maya, stop, stop speaking for West Africans. You don't represent West Africa. I'm a Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian. I'm not a Kenyan. So I want to make that clear, so that you don't say, oh, here comes one, one, or one of those Kenyan people also, who is, who is sitting on you. No, 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 I'm a Nigerian from the eastern part of Nigeria, so that we settle that. Some, something that is not good is not good. Anything that is not good is not good, all over the world. So I want you to, I want you 
I want you to settle that. Listen, we have a culture in Africa, we have tradition, and we have respect. You see, if you go and take somebody's daughter, you go and take somebody's daughter to live with you, you go to bed with her, you wake up with her, you bath with her, you eat with her, you cook with her, you travel with her together, everything you do together with her. That is marriage. It is marriage. There is no, even for us who are, we, we've gone to, to, to marriage register and registered uh, our marriage, you, we've not even done, done, we're not up to what you're doing with that. Already what you're doing has surpassed marriage in some aspects. Mister, you know what is right. Go and do it. The right thing for you to do is to go and meet that girl's father. Because I know the mother is not, forget the mother is, is, is not alive. It's for you to go and meet her family, meet the girl's father. Tell the man, say, sir, your daughter is with me. I don't know about your culture. Ghana people, I don't think they are doing, they do, this is not, what you're doing is not, it's not the way, I don't think, I don't think. I don't know if, if it is happening in Ghana, if that is your culture, to just go and take a girl and you're living with her and the family are, are alive, you don't want to go and pay dowry. I don't know. If you're a Ghanaian, uh, you see this video, if it is your culture, please leave a comment. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You take the girl, you're living with her two and a half years, two and a half years. You do not care to go and meet the father and, and, and give the man uh, 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 the bride price of, uh, of the daughter. You don't, that is disrespectful. You show your, your, your love, this, you show your relationship, and you put it on in social media all over. That is disrespectful. Do the right thing. That is what those Kenyan people you think that they are, they are coming after you. That is what they, they well, that is what they, what they mean. That is the right thing. They are expecting you to do the right thing. Have you considered every interview? You went to Janingo, it was the same thing they asked you. Have you paid the, the bride price? Everywhere you go, even in Ghana, even in Ghana, I've seen you mention there was some, some guy who was interviewing you, I'm forgetting that, that guy's name. I don't think he's the only one. They ask you the same thing. You mean all these people are damn fools? You mean they are stupid? You mean they are after your this thing? They are just saying, go and do the right thing. After six months of your dating, you should have you should have gone and paid this girl Brad Pratt. You know what every woman wants. If you really love her, you should walk, you should walk the talk. If you really love her, if you love that girl, you should have paid, if you have gone six months into your relationship, by then you should have known, known if this girl, if, if this is the girl you want to, you want to live with or not. You should have gone and paid the girl's bride price. All this, this thing, all this talk of Kenya, West Africa, they don't know, you don't know why they hate West Africa. No, they don't hate West Africans. These things wouldn't come up. You know what is right. Go and do it. Go and do it. Finance is not your issue. You said you're making money on YouTube. You have some rental properties. You bought a land you want to... You want to start building an estate. So you finance is not your it's not the issue. Mister, go go and do what is right. The right thing people expect you. The right thing Kenyans expect you. The right thing every reasonable Ghanaian expects from you is for you to go and meet the parents of the girl. Meet her father. Give the man his, his bride price. It is the man's right. Give him the you don't take a man's a man's daughter uh, just like that. It's not a crime that the girl fell in love with you. She has committed no crime to fall in love with you. The girl is in love. Everybody knows it. Everybody sees it. You don't take advantage of, the, of that, that the girl has fallen in love with you. Then you start, you start misbehaving. Go and pay, pay the price. That is all. That is just the right thing to do. It is not, it's, there's no big deal about it. There's no big deal about it. You go and pay the, If you know you are not interested in the girl, listen, stop deceiving this girl. Stop blocking her way. Stop it. It is no good. Stop wasting the girl's time. 
for two and a half years, man. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. You're dating, you're dating somebody's daughter. You live with her as, as a couple. You travel with her as a couple. You bath with her as a couple. You eat with her as a couple. You cook with her as a couple. You go to bed with her as a couple. Man, are you whom are you are you kidding me? Are you really serious? Already you're married, you're married to her. You don't need to propose to her any, anything. You don't need any proposal. Already, you people, you, you you you're living like husband and husband and wife. So they what they are, what people are asking you, what they expecting from you is to go and do the right thing. Go to the father of the girl. Go and meet the man. Say, sir, your daughter is with me. I want to. What is the bride price? They will tell you. You pay it. Case closed. Case closed. This is very simple something. Why is it that Africans will we practice wickedness in deceit? We do some certain things that, that sometimes I begin to, uh, to marvel. It's like, why is, why is, what happened to us? You're talking about African to the world. You do things that, that shouldn't even be done. You are the one talking about African to the world. Showing results, showing nice uh, uh, places. But the things you do, you don't know, you don't know the, the people you are hurting. That is disrespectful to that guest, to that man. You are disrespecting the man. That is not African culture. It is not African. It is not African, Wodemaya. You disarm this girl by taking this girl to your mother. And that made the girl lose her guard. You took the girl to your mother. Every girl that you want to sleep with, do you first of all take them to your mother? Is that what you do? How many girls have you taken to your mother? Any girl you take to your mother means you are serious. If your mother does not approve or approve of her, you shouldn't have continued staying, living with her all this while, for two and a half years. You have a sister. How would you feel somebody does, if somebody is doing that to your sister? Why do we do this? Why do we practice this kind of, this kind of very subtle, weak wickedness? We do it and, and, and you come on, on this thing, you're, you're, you're smiling, you're laughing. Man, let's stop all this, all this deceitful laugh. If you know you don't love her, why are you why are you wasting the girl's time? Why are you occupying the girl? There are people who might be interested in the girl. Why are you occupying her? If you don't love the girl, is it because of the sex you are you she, she, she's giving you? And therefore you have to occupy the girl? Making her to have hope? Don't you know you're wasting the girl? It's not right. It is not right. To be a bright price, does well, what is it going to cost you if you really value her, if you really respect her, if you respect her, if you value her? You show an African to the world, you don't want to respect, uh, 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 you don't want to respect the, the, the girl. Respect an African woman, you don't want to. You don't want to respect the family. Is that how you people behave? The respect you should give to that man is to go and meet the man. Tell him that you're sorry. What is the what is the proper and pay the proper? That's the right thing to do, with the Maya. That's the right thing to do. All this going about, you go to this country, you go to this Africa, you're showing Africa to the world, and you right before you there, you are practicing wickedness. And this thing you you don't you don't think about it. You don't think about it. You're blocking that girl's way. Look at for the three months you were you you, you were away, you, you 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 kept a distance from her. The girl is swearing. She's swearing. The girl is swearing. I saw two of her videos. The one she did when she bought a bought a car for the for the brother. The guy who sold the who sold the car to her was asking, "Are you single?" The guy didn't didn't answer that question. She said, "Leave a comment. Am I single?" She didn't acknowledge you. The second one she did with, with the father. He had the father if she's dating. The father said, I, I don't know. Is there anything you want to tell me? This girl did not, did not acknowledge you. She didn't acknowledge you for the father. You may have seen those videos. And I think that may have jacked you a bit. Say, so, wait, wait a minute. I 
thought the surprise you were when, when I saw your video. I thought the surprise you were coming to give me. As soon as you landed at the airport there and you saw her, you would have asked her, Do you want to marry me? That would have been settled. I want to come and go and pay your bride price. That would have been settled. It would have been settled. These are very simple something. I don't know what's wrong with Africans. Sometimes we practice wickedness and we, and, and we laugh and smile on top of our wickedness. If you don't love the game, man, you, you, you keep a distance. Keep a distance. The game was so hard. And, for, and I was happy for that three months when I was seeing her so hard. And I, I was telling my wife, I said, yes, I think this girl is coming, is coming to her senses. The girl is coming to her senses. All of a sudden, only for you to, to come and appear and say you are surprising. What kind of surprise is that? Surprise that, 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 that you, told, you, you, you came to Kenya without telling her so that she come and welcome you at the airport. Is that a surprise? Is that a surprise you people are doing video? Man, you know what is right. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Miss Trudy, I have to talk to you. You've not committed any crime in falling in love. If falling in love with somebody is a crime, I stand with you that you are guilty. If falling in love is now a crime, I, I stand with you that you are guilty. But to fall in love with somebody is never a crime. But you are an enabler in all this thing. All those bashing people are talking here and there. You are an enabler. Because if you don't make yourself scarce, people will not know your value. The person you are sleeping with, the, 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 what they may sleep, wouldn't know your value. For these three months, you are scarce. That was when he began to realize, man, I'm missing something. But I thought when sometimes, listen, take this advice, please, to other ladies also. When you are falling in love, don't cut off your head and throw it away. You fall in love with your heart, but please, put your head on. Put your head on. God gave you, gave you your head so as it will contain your brain. And what is the use of your brain? To think. Your heart is to love, yes. But you need your heart and you need your brain also. If you are falling in love, there are some certain... Don't cut off your head and throw it away. Don't cut off your head. You are enabling all these things. You are an accomplice. Because you allowed it. For that three months, you were sorry. You are giving him sex free of charge. It is because you are giving him sex free of charge. You have not made yourself scarce. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to fight for you. You don't need to ask. You don't need to beg him. You don't need to tell anybody to go and tell him to marry you. No. These are certain things. If you make yourself scarce, listen, I know how painful it is. I know that if you leave me, I know how because you've invested emotionally. I know. I know you've invested too much emotion in your relationship. There's nothing wrong in you falling in love with somebody. There is nothing wrong. You are not the only one. You are not the first and you will not be the last. There's nothing wrong with it. But there are some relationships. When you are falling in love with, when you are in into it, you, you put your head on. You don't throw away your head. Don't throw away your head. I think you should be, be courageous enough. Call him, sit him down. Please, give him, give him, give him an automatic. That you're giving him the next, the next three months. He should, you've, you've, You've stayed long enough in this in this relationship. I don't know what you people discuss. Is it that you don't discuss about your future? You don't discuss about your future? I, do, I don't understand. Give him an ultimatum. Man, I am giving you three months to go and do the right thing. If you don't do the right thing, forget about it. And in that three months, make sure you don't make sure you don't sleep with him. Tell him that. It's so you should first of all go and do the right thing. Sex is not marriage. Go let him go and do the right thing. Don't go to bed with him. Don't sleep with him. Don't cook for him. Don't do anything for him. Suspend anything. That should, for three months you've been able to stay without him. And I don't think if you if for the next three months you tell him from this time to this time, I'm expecting you. 
I'm expecting you to do the right thing. You don't feel you feel uncomfortable continuing this kind of relationship. Tell him that if he really loves you. Yes, you love him. That's not no. It's not a crime. But tell him from this time to this time. Don't go to bed. Don't sleep with him. Don't. Please hold yourself. If after that time he doesn't do anything, let him go. God will bring God will bring the right person for you. Let him go. Let him go. I am telling you, if he leaves, he's going to get a girl that will ruin his life. He is going to get a girl that will ruin his life. Because anything you sow, that's what you're going to reap. Let this is my advice to you, Miss Trudy. This is my advice to you. Because seeing all this uh, love it dovey on, on, on YouTube uh, continue and it, it, it's becoming irritating. It's becoming irritating. I, I thought you should have put on I thought you should have put on your, your, your head. But after three months and that would have been a, a period of reflection. He would have reflected on his own side and you would have reflected on your own side. It's not for him to come out and start you all of a sudden it's like your mumu button was res reset again. Man. You don't need to tell anybody to, to ask him. This is something you should have done. Man, when, is, when are you going to do the right thing? This is what you should have asked him. When are you going to do the right thing? When are you going to meet my father and give him the bride price? You, both of you are living like married couples. And then he doesn't need to propose. He doesn't need to, to kneel down. I don't even support the kneeling down. What they do, what all these things they do these days in Africa. We, we, are, we are not Europeans. To kneel down and say, will you marry me? No, 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 no. no. Already, what is he going to ask again? You people are, are, are living like married people. So what is he marrying again? All he needed to do is go and do the right thing. Pay the dowry. Finish. 